Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called benzocaine spray, and benzocaine spray is also known by its brand name, which is Hurricane. It falls under the class of topical anesthetics, and it works by blocking the conduction of nerve impulses and stabilizing the overall neuronal membrane. Definitely going to be used more in the hospital setting because it is used to suppress the gag reflex and as a topical anesthetic in order to pass diagnostic and treatment devices. I have read that they use this when they do intubations on patients that are awake which sounds horrific, but I did read that that is one of its usages. Also, during the placement of an NG tube or during procedures like bronchoscopies. As always, before we get into dosages, make sure you abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your adult dose is going to be a half a second to a second spray, and you may repeat as needed. Your pediatric dose is going to be a quarter of a second to half a second spray, and you may repeat as needed. Your contraindications, known hypersensitivity, to this spray. The main most serious adverse reaction you could see from this is met hemoglobinemia. And that is a really long word, but it just basically means the excess of met hemoglobin in the bloodstream, which that just prevents the cells from getting the oxygen that they need. So it can definitely make a patient desat and it could end up being fatal. And as for drug interactions, there are none. A few side notes about benzocaine spray. It is meant for topical use and it is supplied in an aerosol can of 20% benzocaine. And you want to always avoid the eye or ocular use. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!